Hello, this is Reza from Radacad, and in this video, I'm going to talk about add columns function in DAX, how you use it in Power BI and DAX, um, and how you can write calculations with it. Let's check it out. Add columns is one of the functions that goes to the category of tabular functions, and that means it will generate a table. Uh, for example, I can use add columns in this way that uh, let's say I have a customer table and I want to add a column to that. Add columns in its basic terms, it accepts a table uh, as the input table. It accepts a name of the new column that you are adding and the expression of that column. And if you want to have more columns, then you can have name of the second column, the expression of that, name of the third column, expressions of that. Um, so here I've used add columns as a new table uh, because it returns a table. Uh, to the dim customer, we are adding a column. This is the name of that column. Let's say total revenue from the customer. And then the expression for that. Uh, I'm not going to talk about how this expression is calculated because that is not related to add column. So whatever that expression is, it will be calculated on a row by row basis in this uh, table. And the result of that will be uh, the result of that will be generated here. So you can see that this is exactly similar to dim customer with all columns, all rows, except this one, which is a new column added to that uh, calculated by this expression. Now, uh, this can be also created and uh, used to create a co uh, two columns. For example, here I used add columns example um, to dim customer. The add columns function adds two columns. One column is this, the name and the expression. And then the next one, the name and the expression, one of those generates the total count of uh, rows uh, orders for each customer. Another is the total revenue from each customer. You, you can use this function very simply to add as many as columns you want into the existing table. It does not modify the existing table. You will still have all the columns from the ma main table, all the rows from the main table, just adding new columns. The more useful use case for add column is when you use it inside a measure because that way you can dynamically add a column to a virtual table. Uh, as an example, let's say I have a list of customers uh, and among those customers, uh, I want to randomly select one for a weekly price draw. I can write a calculation that uh, that calculation actually use the random function. Uh, so what I have done is I've used add columns to add a new column to the customer table using the rand function. That would randomly add the number between zero to one for each row for each customer. Then the uh, then that is stored inside a variable, and I use that which is now a table variable, of course, that table variable as an input of top n, which is another function that selects the and the record with the highest value in the rand, uh, random function result, that one record, and then concatenate x to just pull, pull out the full name out of that. There are uh, dozens of other ways to write uh, random selection of a row from a table. This is just one of those. The main reason for this is to show how add columns here is used inside the measure it used to uh, prepare a new type type of table from the original table with a new column that is used to be added to another table. This can be added with rank x with many other functions that uh, helps us to create a new column for the virtual table. So in general, add columns is a tabular function. It does not change the existing records or columns of the um, source table. It just adds a new column to that, which is much more helpful when you use it inside a measure uh, to add columns to the virtual table. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI.